Hi everyone, this is Brandon here. So we are five hours into the war and this is the current score right now. As you can see, we are nine against five stars and we have done five attacks against three attacks. So we are doing rather well, but before I show you guys some of the replays, I would like to show you guys something really interesting. That happened during preparation day yesterday when we allowed people to come in to chat with us YouTubers. So this is basically what's going to happen if we actually set the clan to anybody can join and also to zero trophies. Basically, uh, everybody will just keep spamming to want to join in as uh, we have many many friends on our friends list as in uh, all of us YouTubers. So as you can see, the traffic flow do come in really really quickly and uh, from our friends list, those people basically just spam in to join and then some of those uh, also just uh, view our YouTube channel just like you guys. So if you guys didn't come in to have a chance to have a chat with us. I'm really sorry about that. But as you can see, the traffic flow is just really too insane. Just setting the trophies to zero and then setting to anybody can join. People just spam all the way in roughly around 10 to 20 seconds. It just get filled up. So this is another one. Basically, uh, whenever we do this, we just uh, get the people in. After that, we just have a short chat with them. Initially, uh, we were thinking to just set to have a chat with a group of people once every hour. But it was uh, too time-consuming and also uh, effort-taking. So we were thinking how to solve this issue. So eventually, we uh, put the clan to invite only and set a trophy, uh, roughly 2,000 over trophies. So those people who didn't come in, I really apologize for that. But basically, the situation is like this that uh, a lot of people just come in wanting to have a chat with us even those uh, people who are basically clan hopping are coming in to just uh, get troops so as you can see from this particular click itself uh, I just changed the trophies then after in just a few seconds people start joining in and just a few seconds roughly around 15 seconds it'll just get filled up roughly to 50 out of 50 slots so uh, we couldn't do anything about it but of course we would really love uh, more of you guys to come in to have a chat with us as we really appreciate you guys to come in and take a look at the clan itself the clan war also but not to worry our replays will actually show you guys everything but if you guys want to watch all of our replays, you guys have to go to each and every of our channel to go and take a look at it. So the first one that I'm recommending you guys to go and take a look is done by Brian. He actually did a 53% on this uh, number 4 itself. What happened was his queen actually went a bit haywire but last minute she actually saved him. So I really urge you guys to go and take a look at it. And uh, this one done by Maddie. He's uh, clashing with Matty. Go and go ahead and take a look at it. Shout out for Maddie. He's really a nice guy and really a nice dude. 99% uh, on the Town Hall 9. I really urge you guys to go and take a look at it as it was a really, really close attack as when I watched it, I nearly fainted. So the first attack I'd like to show you guys is done on my clan mate, the opponent attack Wolf Alex 97. So uh, she actually got attacked really badly and you will see why later. So as you can see, the person is using 3 golems with 2 level 3 golems and 1 level 5 golem. The level 5 golem, he got it from his clan castle. So it was a really nice... Uh, CC to have especially when uh, he has two level 3 golems so in this kind of situation I really urge you guys to get a higher level golem from your clan mates if you guys have like low level golems so that you guys can uh, have more HP on your tanking troops as for the wizards they are all level 5 which is not too bad and uh, of course level 6 will, will be better but we will see as how it goes now her CC has just came up with her wizards inside which she has gotten from us then after that uh, now the Healing spell has been dropped, healing some of the troops, but not too much damage on the troops itself other than from the Mota, which are only level 6. Uh, level 7, the Mota will definitely do more damage now, dropping more troops on the top, dropping her, his Archer Queen from the top too. So um, Wolf, she's uh, really a nice uh, YouTuber, just started like a few weeks back. I really do urge you guys to go ahead to her channel and uh, take a look at it. And uh, I'm really sure she's uh, trying, to, trying her best to improve a lot. And she's really a nice girl, especially um, when... Um, she actually uh, from, is from the same country as me and I definitely wanting to uh, meet her up together with my clan mates and uh, definitely my clan mates will be happy to meet her especially she's a really nice person uh, making nice YouTube videos for us. Uh, if you guys haven't uh, taken a look, she has also done some uh, YouTube videos on uh, SG Gladiators. Uh, we uh, people do ap appreciate what she has done and the effort she has been putting in but uh, definitely there's a uh, room for improvement this and that so definitely I might be meeting her up uh, for some guidance this and that uh, to help each other out um, especially for this kind of a particular event that I'm actually holding it's more for us to network that's one and also for us to learn from one and another not only in terms of uh, attacking style but also YouTubing etc this is a learning opportunity for everyone how we actually uh, uh, do our reads and our recording in different manner and 
and of course uh, see whether you guys uh, prefer which youtubers uh how to say at recording style and attacking style etc so we want to learn from one another that's one so this is an opportunity for everyone in the clan that's why i actually organized this so that we can learn from one another i mean i'm a new youtuber just starting out like two months ago so there's definitely a lot of stuff to learn from especially those uh, who are really experienced such as a uh, pga can dive brian uh, as mentioned go and take a look at his uh, youtube channel he has over a uh, hundred thousands over subscribers and a lot of views itself so there are many uh, experienced uh, youtubers on this uh, war itself so yeah, she got 3 start, but I helped her out and revenged a bit, so this is how it actually went. So then I went ahead and attacked this Town Hall 9, after the opponent 3 start our first base. So I didn't want them to be slightly motivated by their first 3 star, so I decided to go ahead with my uh, attack also. Initially I was thinking to go ahead and attack the number uh, 1 or number 2 in their opponent. And uh, maybe 2 star them using my sub account. Unfortunately, I think I had to go ahead and do a 3 star first. So uh, this 3 star was really close, to be honest. As you guys watch, you guys will understand how close it got to not being a 3 star. So as you can see now, the uh, troops have all gotten into the center. And then uh, being uh, distracted by the skeletons. Now my king has almost gone down after using his ability. Pekka has still almost a full blood. It's really good to have a Pekka in the CC. And now the CC, uh, sorry, the Pekka is going down really quickly from the Tesla and also the cannon over there. So she's uh, soaking up a lot of damage but um, doing a lot of damage too. So uh, as you can see, the situation is rather bad for me as I was thinking how to 3 star this base because I only have my queen left and uh, just 4 archers and the uh, bottom left as you, as you can see so uh, my golems were going haywire and my witches were all going to the side they didn't go into the center for me and now my queen is actually going down by that archer tower and the cannon deciding to cloak her at that point of time now i uh, didn't know how she will actually survive the cannon uh, damage because uh, she's at level 16 only going down really quickly nothing for her to be uh, uh, as mid shield golems all going to the side it was rather bad situation for me as i was getting worried not to be able to three star this base um town hall nine to be honest uh, using uh, my um this way of attacking especially when i'm actually a town hall 10 um isn't too tough to three star to be honest unless the walls are like the, uh, level 10 this and that then it's slightly harder as uh, those kind of bases, um, especially those designs with a lot of uh, pockets, those kind of squares um, in, inside the core. And then after that, when my troops all get stuck inside, that's really difficult. So now talking about the raid itself, as you can see, there's only three defenses left. Uh, the witches, there are, I have three witches left and then a group of uh, skeletons on the right taking out the gold mines with two golems left and um, two golem might sorry and one big golem so they are trying to bust through the wall and then uh, the cannon they are just doing more damage to my skeletons but not to worry uh, skeletons they will be replenished by the witches so there are two giant bombs there which almost took up my witches if uh, my witch, witch has walked had walked closer i think i would have not scored the score that you're gonna see later so the situation now is very close with only 15 seconds left on the clock and then after that uh, the golem is just tanking the damage at this point of time the witch walked too close and then one of the witch went down another witch went forward to attack the gold storage and then after it got down at this point of time i was a little worried and then after that just left with three two one we scored a three star so the very first three star for youtubers war so hopefully we can score more three star uh, probably in the next few hours and i'll be doing my main attacks too so hope you guys will actually go ahead and watch the other replays from the other youtubers and remember thank you for watching my video and clash on